Day three of the M1 World Championship playoffs will see three teams competing for a spot in the grand finals. Only one team will be crowned world champion and will walk away with 80,000 US dollars prize money. One Izul Islam has the details. Welcome to the eSports segment with me, One Izul Islam. Third and final day here for the M1 World Championship 2019 happening at Bukit Jalil in Kuala Lumpur, the Asiata Arena. The atmosphere is crazy. We have thousands of supporters for the game Mobile Legends here at the stadium supporting their favorite team. Only three teams left in contention to go up for that final prize. We have, of course, Team Malaysia, Toda, and two teams from Indonesia, Team RRQ and uh, EVOS Legends. The morning began with uh, the lower bracket finals between Team Toda and RRQ from Indonesia. Unfortunately, during that best of five game, Team Toda were defeated 3-1 by Team RRQ, who then will proceed towards the grand finals against compatriots uh, team evos legends now it's the el clasico for the top two indonesian teams in the world team rrq evos legends will go up against one another in a best of seven bout that's right best of seven meaning the first team to four games will be crowned world champions for mobile legends bang bang but before we move on let's hear what Toda gaming have to say we have moon as well as ashi from the team to share their thoughts on their game earlier bila kalah tu kita agak kecewa lah sebab ya tak dapat nak nombor satu kan uh, untuk bagi penyokong penyokong uh, untuk untuk penyokong penyokong kita orang but at the same time kita orang sangat sangatlah bangga sebab 16 team dari seluruh negara datang ke Malaysia untuk main M1 dan kita orang dapat top 3 untuk termenian. So dalam masa yang sama tu kita orang bangga dengan apa yang kita orang dah buat dah cuba untuk Malaysia and uh, untuk penyokong, penyokong kat luar sana terima kasih sebab datang ada yang support dari jauh apa semua. Thank you sangat. -sangat. Uh, jadi untuk kita orang ni kita orang ni boleh kata uh, first year untuk pro team ni. Jadi kita banyak uh, tahu kita punya kesalahan sebelum-sebelum ni dan kita tahu uh, kita boleh buat lebih baik lagi daripada apa yang kita deliver pada hari ini dan insyaAllah pada hari-hari akan datang kita akan tingkatkan lagi kita punya result dan kita akan bagi sebaik mungkin untuk semua orang. What uh, makes us even happier is the fact that there's a Malaysian team in the lower bracket final who hopefully make it to the main final after this. Um, so the team from Todak will definitely receive uh, praises and the support, the hearts and minds of all Malaysians uh, today. Uh, we look forward to bringing more international esports championships in Malaysia to become the host. So in the end, the, 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 the multiplier for the Malaysian esports industry will be very good. We, we haven't discussed uh, things like this. Usually, they must be registered uh, together as a Malaysian team, uh, not as a private team. But I think this kind of things must definitely be uh, uh, must be discussed uh, so that a concrete policy can be uh, can, can come up. There we have it from the youth and sports minister himself. Hopefully these players from Malaysia Team Toda will receive some compensation for working so hard and receiving top three in the M1 World Championship 2019. Now a breakdown of what Team Toda will receive. Third place or the second runner-up of the tournament will receive 20,000 US dollars while the second place team will receive 40,000 US dollars and the top place team for the tournament will receive of course 80,000 US dollars from the whole prize pool of 250 US dollars definitely an amazing tournament here at the Azata Arena in Bukit Jalil Kuala Lumpur thousands in attendance supporting all their favorite players and we've seen so many good matches so many good games being played by all teams from around the world 16 teams from all over the world here in Malaysia to compete in the world championship for mobile legends bang bang now that's all from me one is the Islam let's hope We'll see each other again next year for M2.